Let's turn to the, your debate, the Republican debate this week, in which you talked about how you would fight ISIS. Here's a clip. Bring back the warrior class, Petraeus, McChrystal, Mattis, Keene, Flynn. Every single one of these generals I know, everyone was retired early because they told President Obama things that he didn't want to hear. Now, it is true that some of those generals did leave over policy differences. Yeah, four out of five. Keene had already left. Well, <laughs> three out of five. I mean, one of, Petraeus really left because of a scandal, an extramarital affair, also the mishandling of classified information. Yes, and by the way, Mrs. Clinton still hasn't been indicted over the same thing. So perhaps Petraeus' dismissal was convenient. I don't know. I would just say that Petraeus and Clinton are being handled very differently by this administration over arguably exactly the same issue, which was the, cla the handling of classified information over a personal email. Okay, but then there's Keene, who never served in the Obama administration, says he's never spoken to Barack Obama. Weren't you just flat wrong about that? Well, I was wrong about Keene, yes. He's the exception that proves the rule. I was certainly right about the fact that he is a member of the warrior class. I was naming the five warriors of our generation who have experience. Four out of five, I would argue, were retired early out of the Obama administration because they said things the Obama administration didn't particularly want to hear. But all five of these generals have real experience, and all five of them have been highly critical of both Mrs. Clinton and Barack Obama, and all five of them have said that we are not doing what is necessary to lead and to defeat ISIS.